In this example, we'll learn how to use Designer to route audio and optimize your room by setting up an example room with my online devices. Within Designer, you can create live rooms and design rooms. For off-site preparation, you can create design rooms for later deployment. Or for direct on-site setup troubleshooting, you'll be using live rooms. I've already created a project. And within that project, I created a new live room I called Training Room. Double-click the room to get to that live room's workspace. The devices shown on the left include any devices that are not already part of another room. And to ensure that you are selecting the correct physical device, you can hover over the icon of the device and click it to identify. Here I have identified this particular MXA910, and now its LEDs are blinking. Click it again to stop identifying. To populate your live room, you will drag each desired online device from the list on the left panel and drop it into your room. You can then position the device wherever you want to within the workspace. We now have placed the MXA910s, the networked mute button, the P300 processor, and MXN5 ceiling loudspeakers into our room. Notice the banner at the top to add at least one microphone and one processor to optimize the room. Optimize is a great feature to start the setup of your room. It will do a lot of the setup for you with the click of a button. It will create audio routes between devices, meaning it will create Shure's recommended audio routes based on what devices we see in your room. It will also turn on mute synchronization between devices if applicable. And lastly, it will adjust several audio settings on the devices in the room, such as gain and EQ settings. Select the question mark if you want to get further detailed information about the optimized settings before confirming. Note that Optimize is going to overwrite any manual changes that you may have already made, so we really recommend this Optimize feature as a first step in your overall setup. Optimize will quickly get you most of the way there with your setup, and then you can confirm your audio coverage for the microphones and tweak any EQ or other settings as needed. So after you press Optimize, you'll see that the audio routes as well as the control routes are created behind the dialog box. After the room is optimized, you can either click Close to make additional manual adjustments as needed, or you can go to the Coverage Map page for the room to look at the coverage for the microphones and the loudspeakers. For now, let's look at some features of this routing page. You can see that Shure has recommended audio routes such as routing the reference back into the microphone. The mute button has been logically routed to the P300 processor, which is generally recommended as opposed to routing it directly to the microphone. If you need to manually change any routes from here, you can do so. For example, you can delete a route by clicking it and pressing delete. Or create a route by clicking an I.O. point on one device and then clicking an I.O. point on another device to complete the route. If any audio routes were changed using Dante Controller, you would automatically see them displayed here in Designer and vice versa. Any change you make here is reflected in Dante Controller. As a shortcut to clearing routes, you can also select the device and then click on the Clear Routes button here to clear all the routes. The general rule of thumb for a designer is that if you double-click a device from anywhere in the application, you'll get to that individual device's settings. So for example, I've just opened up this MXA910. If I ever need to compare multiple devices' windows, I have the option of using this button on the upper right to pop out this view to a separate window, but by default the device's settings view will overlay onto your room's workspace. 
click back to exit this device's settings and return to your room for selecting other device's settings or coverage. After you exit Designer or are off the network, the room you created remains in your project as an offline room. When you come back on the network, the room becomes online again with a green circle to indicate its status. Double-click it to open the room for any remaining work. Any room can easily be copied or saved as a room design by selecting the More Options icon and clicking on Duplicate. This is convenient as a starting point for deploying the same routes and settings to another room with the same quantity and device types. We'll cover this more in a later video section.